Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Netgear View Zone. Okay, so I don't know what the difference between wireless and wire free is, but there are no wires. I think that is the point they're trying to make. Wire free video monitoring system. Place it anywhere, view it anywhere. Includes this, uh, there's, a, there's a variety of different kits, but this particular one includes two motion cameras, one base station, one outdoor shell and mount, four wall mounts, and the batteries that you need to have them run at an estimated sort of five minutes per day, depending on when they turn on from motion sensing, for up to six months at a time. Place anywhere, view anytime. Okay, I think we covered all of this already. Aha, here we go. Wire-free, motion detection, email alerts, indoor use, and outdoor use are all supported. Let's go ahead and flip over to the side. They give you some examples of where you could mount it, like to a tree or to a wall or to... With our innovative wire-free cameras, you'll avoid the hassle of running ugly power cords. You'll spend more time deciding where to put your cameras than you will setting them up. So there's a chick with a phone, and she's presumably like something good to do with monitoring security so she can see her property, her family, and her pets. Hmm. That's a white girl. I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, be like that about it or anything, but I don't think that's her kids. They could be adopted. Okay, so moving right along, we've got a few different options software-wise. You can use the free option, which gives you, you know, the camera. Well, you bought the camera, so obviously you have those. Motion detection with email alerts. You can take a snapshot, so no video. Okay, $4.95 a month to get video. Next, we've got live video on your computer, no big deal. Camera supported 2, 5, and 15 from the free to premier to elite options. The base station does support 15 cameras, so the hardware is already there to support the elite option. Location supported 1, 1, and 3, so you could monitor multiple different locations. Digital pan and zoom, you're going to have to pay for that. Live video on your iPad, iPhone, or Android, got to pay for that. And look at that, you can securely record video to the cloud with the Premier and the Elite service options. It's compatible with both iOS and Android, so that's a good thing. And we've also got some specifications down here as well. So check this out. Video resolution is 640 by 480 at 3 FPS. Okay. Uh, QVGA, so 320 by 240 at 7 FPS. So we're not talking about, you know, taking beautiful HD photos. We're talking about, like, functional security, motion sensing, and, you know, that kind of good stuff. Physical specifications. Okay, let's open this baby, baby up and have a look at what we got going on in here. So, first thing we see is a quick install guide, followed by another quick install guide. Two quick install guides, because one quick install guide is not good enough for Netgear's customers. No, no. They will provide multiple quick install. Ah, that's for the outdoor mount. And this is just sort of in general what to do on sort of one page or less. There you go. What do they say? Connect your ViewZone system to the internet, okay? Install camera batteries, sync, bat sync cameras to the base station. Okay, there you go, hold within 12 inches and something something. Install cameras, register your ViewZone system and get the ViewZone mobile app. That's it. Okay, we got a general public license, sure, whatever. Okay, we got a bag, got some environmentally friendly paper packaging. Very nice, love to see that. All right, we got some power adapters here, so you can run these up the walls to the camera. Nah, I'm just messing with you. You don't have to do that. You just plug this into the base station, which wirelessly communicates with up to 15 cameras. So you plug that guy into your router, and I have no idea what that does. I guess we'll find out. Hold on. There we go. Power connector. Okay, it's not labeled either. We'll be back in a moment. So we didn't figure it out, but there's a highly amusing Amazon review of this thing that basically, it's a good review overall of the unit, but it says that the you manual and website make no mention of it, and they couldn't figure it out either, so there you go. <laughs> Reset button, there's your sync button up there, as well as your power, internet, view zone status, indicators, and that's it. That's the base station. It just basically looks like that, plugs into the wall. Nothing that complicated. Here we have some of the, I oh, forget what this battery standard is called, CRA something or other. It's a three volt battery, so presumably there are two cells inside there. And these are for the cameras themselves. They're really cheap. You can buy them in bulk on Deal Extreme. I have a laser pointer that takes these batteries, so I have tons of them at home already anyway. Wall mounts, so these are your drywall screws if you wanted to wall mount to drywall. These are little base station little doodads, so you just kind of, uh, this must come off here somehow. Oh. Adhesive surface, there you go. So you just pull that off, 
Caution, adhesive may damage surface or paint, so be careful to maybe test it in a discrete location. Or what I sometimes do if I'm going to stick it to something that I don't want to damage is I'll just kind of go like this on my shirt a little bit first. Make it sticky enough to work, but not sticky enough to take the paint right off the wall when you're done. So those are little mounting doodads, and they're magnetized. See that? So you just kind of put this wherever you want, and you put this guy on here and you can position it wherever you want. So those are, those are the cameras. They're not wide angle lenses, so you do want to get them nice and up high, maybe in a corner if you want to capture an entire room. Okay, there you go. Got little rubber things here so you can not lose your grip on them when you're putting them up. Presumably that's why. Okay, there's your motion sensor right there. There's your lens right there. And there is your battery compartment right, presumably, yeah, there. All right. So throw a couple batteries in there. No big deal. I like that they're nice and light and compact. I mean, yeah, it's only three FPS or you know whatever other complaints you might have, but at least it's small and compact, and you can easily scale it and add more uh, more cameras to it. Should you should you want to? Oh, that that opens it up. Okay, I didn't realize that before. So let me power it on. Okay, just like that. All right. What else we got in here? Ethernet cable for plugging in the base station. Haha! Outdoor mount. Very cool. So this guy right here is, I guess, what the screws are for. Well, no, different screws for that. So you can screw it into a tree or the side of your house or whatever else you want. Has a mount right here that is actually capable of rotating as much as you or as little as you want. You just use this guy right here to lock it in place. There you go. Now it won't turn very easily anymore once we go ahead and tighten this guy as well. So there you go. Point it wherever you want. You just open it up with two screws here and here, throw the unit inside and it should be weatherproof. They operate uh, up to, I think, minus 14 degrees. So for those of you who live in Toronto, ah, 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 sorry, it never goes under minus 14 here. Um, yeah, it's probably fine, especially if you keep it close enough to your house that it's getting some incidental heat off of there. And I mean, besides the batteries wearing out faster, I can't imagine there's anything in here that would be particularly damaged by the cold weather, but feel free to let me know if I'm wrong. Includes a screwdriver actually for for this, so includes pretty much everything you need right out of the box. There you go, that's everything. So you got your two cameras and you can buy more. You got all your mounting screws. You've got, I mean, this is cool. So it includes extras of these, so you could potentially move them around if you want. You could have these permanently fixed in places that are convenient and you can attach one of them outdoors should you desire to do so. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the ViewZone from Netgear. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.